Hello, welcome to the Lights, Camera, Action, Talent Management self-tape tutorial with me, Chantelle, and Alexis. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the do's and the don'ts that you need to do for a self-tape audition. This could be for TV, film, commercial, or theatre. You can use a laptop, a phone, an iPad, or a camera. Okay, so first thing you need to make sure is that you have a plain background. So it could be uh, a plain wall, it could be a curtain, it could be a green screen, anything with a plain background. Sound is really important because the casting director needs to be able to hear you. So make sure washing machines, phones, TV, dogs, children, other siblings in the household, parents, anyone that's not involved in the self-take, make sure that it's completely quiet because you you want the casting director to really listen to everything you are saying and not get distracted by other noises whenever you're filming a self-tape you must always film it landscape so just to show you landscape is like this portrait is like this we don't want portrait we want landscape, landscape. lighting is very important because as you can see we need space to see the actor when you're ready to start your self-tape, um, you put your camera in front of your child like this and make sure it's mid-length so you get about their head and to about half of their t-shirt like that. Step one. So, um, when you are about to do your self-tape, you need to get your child in front of the camera. And the first thing they need to do is introduce themselves in front of the camera. So they're going to say their name, their age, and who they're represented by. As well as say your name, your age, and who you're represented by. Sometimes they also ask for the child's height and where you are based. So we always say mention if you're Hampshire or Dorset, as well as London, because a lot of filmings can be based in London. So, uh, and as we're not very far from the M25, you always say Hampshire and London base. Alexis is now going to do an example of that. My name is Alexis Loda and I am eight and I'm represented by Lights, Camera, Action, Talent, Management. Step two. two. And this is profiles. So sometimes they ask profiles if you're doing a commercial audition or even for film. So Alexis is now going to show you how to do your profile. Step Three. Okay, so when you're doing your actual audition, you never ever have to look at the camera unless they ask you to look at the camera. So what Alexis will need to do is look at her um, scene partner, which is Octavia. Um, and Octavia is standing this side, the other side of the camera. So then what Alexis will do, her, face, her body will still be facing the camera, but her eye line, she'll be looking at Octavia's eye closest to the camera. When you're filming your self-tape, you'll put your phone or iPad or camera, any device that you're using. And as you can see, it's still like a mid shot. And then um, as you can see, Octavia is stood in line. And then what Alexa will do, she'll look at her, Octavia's eye closest to the camera. So as, as you can see, we can see Alexis's face, but we can't see her looking at the camera. So they're just going to show you an example of doing a scene. When you're ready girls, off you go. So do you want to go to the park today? Yeah, that would sound great. What park do you want to go to? Maybe the one in Bournemouth. Yeah, that sounds good. Me too. Step four, finishing your self tape. Now after you've finished filming your intro and your audition uh, piece, you need to combine the two videos together into one. You can do this quite easily on a phone, an iPad or a laptop. After that, you'll then need to send it to me or Terry so we can check your self-tape and make sure that there's anything else that needs to be added on. Or if it gives a good go, then we'll send it on to the casting director. And then, fingers crossed, you get the job. Here are the don'ts in self-taping. Here's step one of the no-nos. Don't film portraits. No, no. This is what it looks like. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Here's step three of the no-nos. 
As you can see, lighting is very important as you need to see the actor or the actress. Step four of the no-nos. Sound. As you can hear, yeah, I know. can't really hear so yes, that much because of all the, because of all of the sounds that are around us and the casting director has to hear us when we're speaking. Step five of, of the, the no-nos. Backdrops. You don't want a backdrop that's distracting like this, so keep it nice, plain and simple because distracting backgrounds are a big no-no.